This Hunter Biden BS, uh, getting away with it. Uh, you see this uh, photo, as I mentioned, on the front page of the New York Post. A very wise man predicted all this. I want you to listen and react. Watch. And the prediction I have made um, is that I believe Hunter Biden will be charged and soon. But I think they'll roll it up into what we call this global plea agreement, where he basically gets charged with some Mickey Mouse lower level offenses, walks into a super light sentence, and then they will cover up the cover up. Merrick Garland and company will go to the podium and say, we prosecuted Joe Biden's son, even though he's the president of the United States. And they'll gloss over the fact that any other individual who committed those crimes would have been treated differently. That's, the, that's what I think is happening right now. That's why I think that meeting occurred, um, because I think the lawyers, some of whom I know, are smart enough to realize that there's no way he can't get charged with anything. Oh. Wow, right on the money, cash money, call it. <laughs> uh, where are we then? You predicted it. Well, you know, if you say enough silly things, you got to be right at least once <laughs> or twice a year. But uh, no, in all honesty, I wish we were having a conversation where you said, hey, cash, you got it dead wrong. Because then yeah. that would prove to me our justice system is still alive and well in this constitutional republic. This case singularly destroys any narrative that there is not a two-tier system of justice. As a federal public defender... I represented hundreds of individuals charged with this exact gun crime uh, related to narcotics. And they most of them happen to be minorities. And every single one of them got launched to an average mm -hmm. of three to five years in federal prison. And I'm not saying that was wrong. I'm saying that's the appropriate sentence in most of those cases. But never yeah. once did the Department of Justice offer pre-trial diversion, a get out of jail free card that avoids even charging Hunter Biden with that offense, a felony gun charge with narcotics attached. That's absolutely incredible. This entire plea deal is incredible. And did they wrap this gun charge into those tax crimes intentionally? Was there some advantage into doing that and putting it all together? Uh, for them, yeah, because they'll call it what we what we as federal prosecutors call a global plea, which is we're wrapping up everything. Look, no good defense attorney huh. says, I'm going to plea my client out to 50 percent of this stuff. You guys can keep coming at us for the rest. And that yeah. red herring that the DOJ left in their statement that the investigation is ongoing is a total lie and a complete ruse that DOJ and FBI will use to shield um, against production of documents from congressional investigators, just like they've stiff armed them for the last couple of years running. So when we hear that sort of global plea resolution, that's how they did it. But they took it one step further. A federal judge will never even see, hear or touch the felony gun charge for Hunter Biden.